Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be setting up the animator and a blend tree for our character. Animators let you play animations using some parameters or variables and that's all we need. So if you right click into your uh, project window and go create and then go animator controller just say player animator right now you can drag it to the controller box right here on your player and right now if you play the game it's going to play the default animation in your controller if you double click on your controller you can see that it's empty it's not going to play anything so what we want to do is add a couple of animations right so if you just drag the idle animations or idle animation in here and then just play the game just like the last time it's going to play the idle animation but we also want to be able to jump and walk a cool way to set that up since we do have walking and running and we want to change between those according to some uh, speed. A good way to do that would be using a blend tree and blend trees basically allow you to uh, blend certain animations together. So if you want to go very smoothly between walking and running you can do that. So I'll just delete this idle, animations, idle animation first and go create state from new blend tree. Right. So if you double click on your blend tree you'll get this box and if you click it you get a new thing here with motion. And a blend tree also has a parameter called blend. And you can change it here with this slider. I will just rename that to movement speed. Okay now if you click on this box again you can add new motion here. So basically you can add animations in here. I will add three new empty fields. The first one will be idle since if our movement speed is zero we do want to be in idle the second one is going to be walking and the third one run so now if you change between uh, the speed you can see that it plays the animations differently so if I was to go in game you can see that if this uh, is zero idle animation if I start changing it you can see that it starts playing the walking animation. If I change it even more, it starts running. So we can change this through script, but we're going to do that next time. That's pretty much all you need for walking. If you want to add jumping, we're going to do that later because it's a bit harder since I uh, fucked up a bit with these three part animations. But I know it's a short video. Next time we're creating the script for the controller and we're putting all of this together. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.